Nashville is becoming a more expensive place to live as it becomes more popular. The boom means a steady rise in property taxes as land becomes more valuable. It also means some of the people who have lived here the longest are being priced out of their homes because they can't afford the taxes. I'm Demetria Kalademos. The Metro Nashville Trustee's Office is where property owners pay their taxes in person. As taxpayers write their checks, the impact of higher property taxes is seen every day. Many people don't know it's also the office where some of the most vulnerable property owners can get help paying their taxes. The Metro Trustee's Office, under the direction of Charlie Cardwell, has worked hard every year to spread the word about two programs available for older adults with low incomes and disabled homeowners. Well, I've been told that Metro Nashville was at the forefront when it comes to offering tax relief like this. That's true. This started back in the early 70s. Early on, there was a state program, both programs, and the counties did not participate. But Metro government decided in the early 80s to participate in the program and now we give $2.20 to the taxpayer for every dollar the state pays. And also included in this is the program for veterans. How many people have benefited from this program? Oh, I don't know, probably 50,000 people since the inception of the program. We feel that it will be in excess of 7,000. Uh, we are out in the community educating each community group on how the program works and how they are able to participate and sign up for the program. The tax relief program is available for older and disabled property owners with incomes not exceeding $29,270. They can qualify for tax relief waivers, lowering their property tax bills. Now the amount varies according to the property value of the homeowner. The tax freeze program is for homeowners over the age of 65 with limited household incomes up to $41,780. If they qualify, property owners can freeze or lock in their current tax rate so it won't increase even if there's a tax hike. Both programs require taxpayers to reapply annually. I know these programs require that you renew it every year. What can a relative or a caregiver do to help? They can come in for them. The first year, we have to have them in the office to sign the application. They can bring all their paperwork in, then they can take the application back home to the homeowner and have them sign it and then mail it back in. So they don't have to come in again? No, they do not have to come in. Now, what if someone forgets one year? Uh, if you do not send your forms back in, then you will be voided off the program. You will be voided off the freeze and your taxes will go up. And if you're on the relief program, you'll be voided and you won't get the help from the state and metro governments to pay your property taxes and they will be responsible for the full amount of taxes. And is there a window of opportunity during the year to do this? Yes, we start mailing things out in October and they have till April the 5th of the following year to get their forms back in. The trustee's office has a whole team of people devoted to helping people apply. We even have staff that speak Spanish. What happens if a non-English speaker comes into the office? We have Spanish speakers in this office that are always available for them. Any kind of question by phone or if they come here, we will be able to help them in Spanish. But at the moment, the form is only in English? for the moment. But again, we are here, the steps are really easy and we will explain each one of them in the Spanish language also. And in Espanol, por favor? In Espanol, claro que sí, no se preocupe si no habla Espanol. Estamos aquí para ayudarle, para dirigirlo y para ayudarle en el proceso. Y el, el idioma no va a ser un inconveniente. Puede llamarnos, puede venir a nuestras oficinas y siempre habrá alguien atento y disponible para atenderlo en, en Espanol. Totally disabled veterans can start their application process at the trustee's office. It is then processed through the state and the Veterans Administration for approval. Staffers in the trustee's office cannot determine eligibility, but they can make sure the forms are filled out correctly and then submit the applications to the state. 
No appointment is necessary. Anyone can walk in at the trustee's office located at 700 Second Avenue, also known as Howard School. Applicants can come Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. And it's a good idea to call before you come to understand what paperwork you need to bring.